I would rate it as a 10 plus as the President has rated our response. And I want to find out what, what the issues are that uh, are delaying uh, actions in Puerto Rico, whether it, they're budgetary or logistical, in what form uh, they take. Uh, obviously, uh, many of us were concerned when we saw the uh, award of a $300 million no-bid contract to uh, Whitefish Energy Holdings with two employees uh, who was going to be paying linemen $2,500 a day as subcontractors uh, to restore power. Uh, I, I hear that's going to be canceled. I want to be assured by FEMA uh, that there will be no federal reimbursement. Uh, you know, I'm quite familiar with the federal reimbursement process, and uh, these uh, we don't do no bid uh, dubious contracts at outrageous prices uh, and give federal reimbursement to local entities who enter into such contracts. Uh, and then finally, I, I hope uh, once and for all to put to rest uh, the idea that somehow the Jones Act is uh, inhibiting the recovery of Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, uh, we've had more than 20,000 containers delivered. Uh, the uh, problem has been uh, the logistics of uh, getting those out of the port to the remote uh, parts of the island. Want to hear more about the infrastructure problems that are inhibiting the distribution and what we can do about that in the short and the long term. I also hope to hear that uh, we're going to be uh, emphasizing in all of these communities re resilience uh, as we rebuild and that um, whatever the federal government can do in terms of its reimbursement to uh, encourage resilient uh, rebuilding uh, so that we won't be paying again and again and again uh, for subsequent floods in Houston or uh, for, uh, you know, uh, things that, uh, you know, just basically self, you know, are destructed by a wind in, in Florida and in Puerto Rico. Um, you know, hopefully we can learn from this and we can build in such a way that uh, they will better serve uh, their citizens in uh, future uh, uh, events like this, which are becoming all too frequent. With that, I look forward to hearing from our witnesses. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. DeFazio. And just uh, a point to make, uh, uh, Ranking Member DeFazio and myself will be this weekend traveling down to uh, Florida, Puerto Rico, and Virgin Islands. I've been to Texas before with, with uh, Chairman McCall to see the effects of the storms there, and uh, also to Florida one other time. So uh, again, I think it's important that we see it firsthand, but uh, that's why it's so important for you folks to be here, because you're living in those communities, you're talking to those people every day. So I really appreciate you, the, the members that are here, <coughs> taking the time. Uh, to, to, to talk to us today. And uh, with that, uh, I would recognize Chairman McCall for his uh, statement. Thank you, Chairman Schuster, Ranking Member DeFazio. I appreciate the opportunity uh, to be here today. I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, how about those Astros last night? I, being from my home state of Texas, we're, we're proud of that. Um, but this hurricane.